Phase two, day one. Starting with block A, we have 10 yard sprints. Let's start these from a push, the bottom of a push up position. The goal with these starts is to stay as low as possible and taking as explosive as steps as possible, gradually rising to your normal running position. Then in block B, we have front squats paired with depth drops, paired with dumbbell bench wrist curls. On the front squats, like the bench yesterday, you will pause for three seconds on the way down and on the way up, just above the bottom position. On the depth drops, you'll be stepping off a box and landing as stiff as possible in an athletic position. And then on the dumbbell bench wrist curls, you will take those to failure with the one second pause at the top. that's about a foot and a half high. We're stepping off, sticking the landing. Roll all the way down the fingertip, squeeze the top, go to a failure. In block C, we have dumbbell single leg hip thrust paired with dumbbell goblet rear foot elevated squat. For the hip thrust, your foot will be placed on a bench. You will pause at the top and hold for three seconds, squeezing your glutes. And on the rear foot elevated squat, we are going to pause at the bottom for three seconds, trying to keep our torso as vertical as possible, working on that hip flexor mobility. You're going to place the dumbbell on your hip, put the middle of your foot on a box or something that's 6 to 12 inches off the ground, or drive your foot into the box. Two, three, one, two. Three. And then in block D, we have dumbbell pullover paired with dumbbell side bend paired with seated single leg calf raise. On the pullover, keep those arms long, feel a good stretch through the lat, and pause at the bottom for one second. On the dumbbell side bend, let the dumbbell slide as far down your thigh as you can, pausing at the bottom, feeling a good stretch in uh, your outer abdomen. And on the single leg seated calf raise, pause at the bottom and drive up fast. Upper back's gonna be on the bench, hips are high. Reach back, one, two, three. Side bend, let that dumbbell slide down your leg as far as you can. One second, pause at the bottom, one, back up. Find something to place your toes on, put the dumbbell on your knee, pause at the bottom before your heel touches, drive back up. 